truth in dating. Millions of people go online looking for love, but I know this isn't a shock for a lot of you. What you see is not always what you end up getting. A new dating site is trying to change that, saying getting real is the only way to find real love. ABC's Rena Nainen has the story. I thought in your profile it said you, uh, you like to drink red wine. Printed out my profile. First impressions matter, but what if they're not accurate? That's what 30 year old David Wheeler discovered after looking for dates on five websites. And met a girl that had posted a picture when she was probably 18 and she was 30. While dating sites don't advise users to exaggerate the truth, dating experts say it's only human nature. You have so many options. You want to be able to shrink those options and really focus on the people who are right for you. So in search of the truth, David recently launched Settle for Love, a free online dating site that encourages singles to get real instead of showing only the good side, admitting flaws too. I started posting a picture of myself balding because I don't want girls to think I'm uh, ugly or looking different when I'm in person. Some Settle for Love fans believe online honesty will pay off. People are afraid because they don't want to be judged, they don't want to be rejected. This website encourages vulnerability and openness. Screwing the Rules author Laurel House says Settle for Love helps speed up the dating dance. Instead of waiting three, four, five dates, why don't you show them right now. I'm overweight, I'm unemployed, I can be really clingy and I can be very annoying. Um, but I'm also, you know, wicked smart and creative and loyal and I like to think I'm funny. People think this is all about settling. It's a bunch of losers. That's not what this is about. Our site's all about just representing who you are. David Wheeler in Wisconsin is searching for a business partner to grow his website while still searching for a life partner. I do feel like I'll be married sometime soon. For Good Morning America, Rena Ninen, ABC News, New York. See, he likes cats. Yes. He's being honest about that as well. And he can't find a date. Joining us now, <laughs> relationship expert Donna Barnes. And Donna, we were all watching this, and it, it definitely flies in the face of what you would normally think. And I, I don't know, I'm, I'm all about honesty, but too much honesty at first can be a bit of a turnoff. Absolutely. I, I, I do agree that you have to be honest so that you can find someone who's right for you. But I think in the beginning, less is more. I mean, too much okay, information is a turnoff. And I think some of these things that they're revealing about themselves, you have to already be have an affinity for somebody before you're like, oh, that's cute. It's a drug yeah. commercial and they tell you all the side effects. I'm like, right. I never yeah. want to yeah. die. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. exactly. Right? Yeah. So how do you, how do you, how does one become selectively honest, strategically honest, you say, I'm a really nice guy, but I've got chronic halitosis. I mean, what, how does that work? Ew. Well, if you have chronic <laughs> halitosis, <laughs> I think you need to talk to your dentist and try to fix yeah. that. <laughs> but like, I think... Dude, she does dating advice and dentistry advice. Yeah, right. Well, fresh <laughs> breath is a big part of dating, yeah, right? Perfect. You don't want to kiss somebody and have it be bad breath. But I think you go for things that you know have been holding you back in other relationships. Like, mm -hmm. when I get a new client, I usually say, why do you think things aren't working? And they usually know. Mm -hmm. So I think if it's something that it's a real personality thing and you're just like love this about me or leave me then yeah I think it's a really great thing to put that out there because only someone who's gonna go yeah you know that doesn't bother me it would be interested but in then that. some people say you're putting forth that representative self mm -hmm. and in a couple of months we're gonna find out who the real yeah hello yeah. well yeah. Anything. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. well and I think too when people write their profiles they write kind of what they aspire to be yeah. they're like yeah. okay describe myself what's the best part of me and I do think you should put forward the best part of you mm -hmm. but honestly I but think like, not false advertising, like exactly. best, but don't air your dirty laundry on day one. Yeah, because I mean, like, you know, I disagree with her where she's like, put it all out there on the first date. You, <laughs> oh. you know, an, an open book is not sexy. <laughs> exactly. I agree. You know, you know. <laughs> an open book is not sexy. A, a, little, right? a little mystery <laughs> that Good is motto. a long way. Absolutely. Absolutely. Donna Barnes, thank you. I'm glad yes. we could all work that out. Yes. <laughs>